Common people around the world are doing the uncommon. And they are doing supernatural things. And we are going to combine quantum physics with neuroscience, with neuroendocrinology, with psychoneuroimmunology, with epigenetics. All of those particular sciences, the new sciences, point the finger at possibility. And so every time you learn that information, you're forging new synaptic connections in your brain. That's what you're doing. You're installing new hardware. But if you don't repeat it, if you don't think about it, you don't talk about it, the research shows those circuits prune apart within hours or days and you forget what you learned. So we have to fire and wire and build a model of understanding. And once you can explain that information, once you can review it, once you understand that you're building a model for an experience. So then when we set up the conditions in the environment and you get the proper instruction, and if you do exactly what you intend to do, you get your behaviors to match your intentions or your actions equal to your thoughts, you're going to have the experience of that knowledge. And experience then enriches those philosophical and theoretical circuits in the neocortex adds more connections in the brain and the moment those neurons string into place the brain begins to inform the body with chemistry with information and the moment the person feels unlimited the moment the person feels like a genius the moment the person feels worthy to receive now they're teaching their body chemically to understand what their mind is intellectually understood so if knowledge is for the mind and experience is for the body, the person is embodying the truth of that philosophy and that information begins to select and instruct new genes and it causes the person to change their genetic future. They're, they're moved off the predictable future. And once the body is chemically instructed to understand what the mind is theoretically uh, learned, if you've done it once then, it means then you should be able to do it again. And the repetition of any experience begins to neurochemically condition the mind and body to begin to become unified. Or you've done it so many times that the body now knows how to do it better than the conscious mind. Now it's innate in you. It's automatic, it's subconscious, it's a program. You can program yourself for greatness. You can program yourself for suffering. You can program yourself for joy once you understand the formula. So, so many programs that are running for most people are based on the emotions that they've experienced in the past. And so, the programs then drive them to suffering and pain where they reach a point where they get a diagnosis or they lose something and now, now, now they really have to change. But we want to then create innate changes in the person that continues to evolve their experience of themselves. And when you've done something so many times that the body now can do it as well as the conscious mind or the mind and body have become one. Now, it's, you're mastering it. You're mastering that philosophy. You're moving into a state of being. So we want to go from philosopher to initiate to master, from knowledge to experience to wisdom, from mind to body to soul, from thinking to doing to being, to learning it with your head, applying it with your hands, and then knowing it by heart. And we have all that machinery biologically to be able to do that. And as I said, common people around the world are doing the uncommon. And if you asked Joe Dispenza a year ago or two years ago, uh, if he thought he would be witnessing what I'm witnessing now, I probably would have said no. I'm talking about transformation in one week. Blind people seeing, deaf people hearing, tumors disappearing in one week, people with leukemia, rare genetic disorders, um, stage four cancers, going into complete recovery. I, I'm witnessing that. And we get testimonial after testimonial 
And it is a movement. And it has momentum. So then, those common people that are doing the uncommon are literally changing their bodies, changing their lives, changing their futures. And it's like a four-minute mile. You know, the four-minute mile was a, a mindset that uh, human beings had. It was a level of consciousness. And even medical science said there's absolutely no way the human body can run uh, a four-minute mile. And then someone did it. And then f over 1,400 people have done it since then. And it's a new level of consciousness. That's exactly what's happening when people apply the formula, when they take time to do it. So then people are creating new lives, new relationships, new careers. They're inventing new things. They're getting downloads from the field that are brilliant ideas. And they're, they're, they're living that they're living that idea, that new idea into reality. And they're loving their lives. And there are people that are healing from childhood scars, subconscious programs that kept their life staying the same over and over again that they didn't even know that they had. And finally they broke free from that and their life changed instantaneously. So people are having mystical experiences now that are transcendent of language, that they could never go back to being the same person again because that inner experience was more real than the shock or the betrayal of the past. And the person starts waking up to who they are. We're seeing that. We're seeing, we actually have the brain scans now to demystify that entire process. We can actually induce that state. We can predict when it's going to happen and we can replicate it. Now that's science. And when I talk about when that person's having a transcendental moment. When I'm talking about the level of gamma brainwave patterns that we're seeing, they're just not a little bit out of gamma range. They're not just a lot out of gamma range. It's not a lot, a lot out of gamma. It's an unbelievably enormous amount of a lot. 200, 300, 400, 500 standard deviations outside of normal and high gamma. Now, if we took this room and we were going to measure eyesight or height or weight or liver enzymes or intelligence, whatever. If we took this entire room and we put you through a series of tests, um, we would always get the same bell curve. Let's say we were doing eyesight and that bell curve means right at the top here, the biggest surface area is what's called normal. And they divide a line right down the middle of that bell and they draw two more lines. And then some people may have a little better eyesight and a little worse eyesight. And then some people have, as the curve goes down, really, really good eyesight. And some people have really, really bad eyesight. And those three standard de deviations above normal and three standard deviations below normal make up 99.7% of the population. So the majority of the population is either three above or three below. The gamma was 200, 300, 400, 500 more of those lines out there. And when scientists see this, the first thing they think is seizure. And, and we have had neuroscientists actually yell seizure. And the person's having the most blissful, most incredible, divine moment of their life. And they're thinking, if this is a seizure, I want more of these. <laughs> and that kind of energy we have seen produce instantaneous healing in the body. I'm talking instantaneous. We've seen Parkinson's go into reversal after one of those. We have seen people with rare, crazy skin conditions completely disappear, and they've been treating it their whole lives. We've had people get their hearing back in one moment like that. And that is that transcendental moment 
that, that is energy beginning to affect matter. And it's not matter that's emitting a field. Science says that it's the field that's creating matter. You change the field, you change matter. And people are understanding how to do that. And now, we're actually healing others with the same formula. And we're talking about blind people seeing after one moment. We're talking stage four cancers, where the doctors told people to go home and get their affairs in order. Complete reversal. We have, we have the pre and post measurements to prove it. Just in an instant. And those people look just like you. They're not different in any way than you. And you don't have to spend your whole entire life, 40 years uh, of devout meditation uh, to begin to have those changes, those transcendental moments. It's a formula. And we're learning how to teach people how to get better at creating that formula. Wow.